Utilitarianism considers an action or decision as ethically correct if the greatest benefit are received by the greatest number of people. Before we look at utilitarianism in more detail, let's consider the entire concept map of all normative theories so we know exactly where utilitarianism fits in. There are two broad categories of normative theories, namely teleological and deontological theories. Utilitarianism is a subset of teleological theory. So we know that utilitarianism is a normative theory, which means that it focuses on how people should or ought to behave. We also know that it is a branch of teleological theory. This means that it focuses on the consequences and outcomes of a decision rather than on intention. Under utilitarianism, a decision or action would be considered ethically correct if it results in the greatest good to the greatest number of people. The converse is also true. That is, if a disadvantage cannot be avoided, then a decision or action that would result in the smallest number of people suffering would be ethically correct. Consider a popular spinning class with only three cycling machines available. If four friends apply to join the class, the instructor can either choose not to sign up any of the four friends, or she can choose to sign up the first three. Under utilitarianism, the instructor would choose to sign up the first three friends. This is because the friends would receive the benefit, while one does not. That is, the greatest number of people would receive the benefit. In this example, the fourth friend did not benefit from the instructor's decision, but he also did not suffer any disadvantages or cost as a result either. Utilitarianism becomes more complicated when the action or decision that results in the greatest benefit to the greatest number of people also results in a cost or disadvantage to others. Therefore, it becomes imperative to use a systematic approach to resolving the problem using this theory. There are five steps when applying the utilitarian approach. These include identification of the issue or problem, possible solutions or actions, as well as costs and benefits associated with each possible action. The costs and benefits should then be weighed up against each other and the option that results in the greatest good to the greatest number of people should be selected. To recap, utilitarianism is a teleological theory. According to utilitarianism, a decision or action that results in the greatest benefit to the greatest number of people would be considered ethical.